Hi there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel. Today we're talking all about message tags and what changes to Facebook Messenger are coming down the pipeline as of January 15th, 2020. As we know, over the past couple months and years, Facebook has made various changes to the ability for businesses to broadcast and re-engage with their subscriber base. And the newest rendition of that is present in what we'll be talking about today, which is Facebook's narrowing down and consolidation of their previous 14 message tags into just four. The good news in all of this is that it's gonna make our lives a lot easier, much more simple to understand. Facebook is making the rules more concrete in a way and eliminating these gray areas. But at the end of the day, we'll still be able to reach our subscribers and customers, which is good news. Now, how all of this works is the 24 hour window still applies. So if users have interacted with your bot in the past 24 hours, you can reach out to them and re-engage using standard messaging. This is free, it's available natively in ChatFuel, it's easy to do. If you wanna reach subscribers and customers outside of that one day, that 24 hour window, then you have two options. You can either use these message tags, which I'll be talking about in a second, which are free to use if your message and content falls within the guidelines of them, or you have to use sponsored messages. These are messages that you pay for to re-engage your customer base if those people have not recently interacted with your bot, and you do this through Facebook Ads Manager. So with that context provided, let's now dive into what these four tags look like so you can see if you should be using these or sponsored messages to reach your customers outside of that 24 hour window. So let's scroll down here and the first one we see is confirmed event updates. So as you might imagine, this deals with events such as a concert if you're a band or open house if you're a real estate agent. So this tag again deals all with events. Basically, it allows you to send out reminders and updates to an event that somebody in your bot has registered for, RSVP'd for, etc. Now, what's allowed in this, you can see in the middle column here, I'm not going to go into all the details, but you have a way to reach out to these people if the event is coming up or ongoing currently. What's not allowed, and you'll see this as a common thread throughout the rest of these three tags, is promotional content, sending coupons, discounts, or sending polls, any sort of surveys, reviews, anything that might spam the user. It's really common sense for the most part. You just have to use this tag sparingly and for the right use cases. You can't just use it as an excuse to reach out and get people to buy or take surveys, give you their data in some sort of way. Next is post-purchase updates. So think of this as an e-commerce use case predominantly. If somebody has completed a purchase, you can then use this tag to send them things such as receipts, shipping updates, any sort of updates related to the order they placed. Again, what you can't send is promotional content such as coupons. You can't encourage them to buy a similar product such as cross-selling or upselling. And again, no surveys, polls, reviews, any of that business. Account update is next. This allows you to send some sort of update to a user who has created an account, submitted something like a job or credit application, etc. And again, as you could imagine, no promotional content. And then finally here, we have the human agent tag. And as you might expect, this is related to live chat, so to speak. Whenever a human needs to re-engage with the user who has interacted with your bot, this tag will allow them to do that within seven days of a user sending that message. And this is really important for businesses because as I mentioned earlier with the 24 hour window, even if a user hasn't interacted in the 24 hour window, maybe the business was closed during that time, this allows the business to re-engage with that individual, which is absolutely crucial. So those are the four new tags that will be consolidated. Again, this change will take place on January 15th, 2020. In the meantime, you can use that comprehensive list of 14 tags, but the main takeaway here is that if you wanna reach users who have not recently interacted, you need to use sponsored messages. 
through Facebook Ads Manager. And we have a video on our YouTube channel showing you how to do exactly that and set up that workflow. So that is the video for today. If you have any questions about these tags or what these changes will mean for you, please drop a comment down below and we'll catch you next video. Happy botting. Thank you.